Hey, I'm Dan, and I'm assuming you're here because a Vodacall tech recently placed a new phone on your desk, and you're terrified. But don't be. By the time you're done watching this, you'll know how to do all the things you could do in your old phone, and maybe even a few more. We didn't reinvent the wheel. When your phone rings, you can still just answer it. When your phone was rolled out to you, you received two documents via email. The Vodacall Quick User Guide for your phone, and the Vodacall Voicemail Tree. If you're anything like me, that email is already buried under a million other things that you still haven't responded to. So you can always go to the download section of www.vodacall.com under resources, or just click the link in the video description above. Now let's get down to business. Across the bottom of your phone display, you'll find four keys. These are your soft keys. They provide quick access to basic phone functionality depending on what state your phone is in. So if your phone is idle, if you're receiving a call, or if you're on a call. The first thing we're going to do is record your name. This will change your name in two places, your voicemail box and your chit chat directory. Chit chat is one of your soft keys and is your built-in speech assistant. You can use it to make calls, send your team messages and access system features. It also means no more paper extension lists. To record your name, we'll log into your mailbox or you can click the link above to use the My Vodacall portal for this. The first thing you'll do is press your messages button, which looks like an envelope. The system will then ask for a password as it assumes you're calling from your own desk. Enter in the default password of 123456 followed by the pound sign. The system will then record your name. Please enter your password followed by the pound key. 123456 pound. You have zero new messages. Please record your name after the tone. Press pound when you are finished. Training user. Your name is? Please record your greeting after the tone. Press pound when you are finished. You've reached the desk of the training user. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Your greeting is? You've reached the desk of the training user. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Main menu. Press 1 for new messages. Press 2 for old messages. Press 3 to send messages. Press 4 to set call forwarding. Press 5 to set your current option. Press 6 to change greeting. 7 to recover deleted voicemail. Now I'm going to press 5 and change my password from the default. We encourage everybody to do this. Option menu. Press 1 to change your password. Press Please enter your new PIN. Here we'd encourage you to change your password to something you can remember. Please re-enter your new PIN to confirm. PIN change. That was great. Now your mailbox is all set up and you're ready to go. You'll notice that after I recorded my name, it immediately asked me to record my first greeting. You can also do this from the My Vodacall portal. Your mailbox is now set up and you're ready to make your first call. Let's start with an internal call. If you know your coworker's extension, either lift the handset or just start dialing the extension number you're trying to call. Once it has been entered, hit the dial or send button. Here is a test. Thank you for calling the Vodacall One platform. Pretty simple, huh? To make an external call, you can simply start dialing the number to use the speakerphone or lift the handset first and then begin to dial. Vodacall does require all 10 digits to complete a call. You do not need to dial a 9 or a 1 to complete the call. If you do make a mistake, you can hit the delete soft key to back up while dialing or cancel key to end the call and start again. Once the number is complete, hit the dial or send key depending on your phone type. Pretty simple, huh? Now let's take a look at answering a phone call. 
When a call rings into your phone, you have a few options. To answer the phone, simply lift the handset or use one of the soft keys available to you. Here I can answer this call, I can reject the call, or I can silence the call. I'll answer it. Had I rejected the call, that would immediately send the call to voicemail. If I silence the call, that silences the ringing until the call is answered by your voicemail greeting. These can be broken down into, I'd love to talk to you, I can't talk right now, or I want you to think that I'm not here. Now we're going to take a look at answering a second call. When a second call comes in, you'll hear a beep in your ear and the caller ID information will appear on the screen, along with the option to answer the call, reject the call, or silence the call. If you choose to answer the call, the first call will automatically be placed on hold and you'll be connected to the incoming call. Here's the options to answer or reject the call. I'm going to go ahead and hit answer. Now that I've answered the call, it placed the first call on hold automatically. To swap between the two calls, I could just hit swap. Now it put the second call on hold and went back to the first call. To swap back, hit swap again. I can also use the arrow keys to toggle back and forth between the calls to see the calls that are on hold. To hang up a call, simply press the speakerphone, place the handset down, or hit the end call button. The end call button is on the next screen of buttons, which you can access by hitting the soft key below the two dots. End call. Now let's place a call on hold. To place a call on hold, you'll hit the hold button on your phone. The hold button is signified by a handset with a pause button on it, or you can use the hold soft key. To get the call back, press the hold button again or hit the resume soft key. These are interchangeable. So I could hold here and resume up here. Now let's take a look at transferring. There are a few different ways to transfer. Blind sends a call to the party unannounced and will show caller ID. Hit the transfer key. Enter in the extension you'd like to transfer the call to and hit B transfer for blind transfer. You'll see that that call is now gone. So a blind transfer sends a call directly to the user without you speaking to them first. Let's do an assisted transfer. An assisted transfer is where you speak to the person first. Once you start speaking to them, you can announce the call and confirm they want to take it. If they don't, or you get the party's voicemail box, you can hit end call and then resume the call to talk to the caller. If they do, you can hit transfer or hang up the handset and the transfer will complete. Let's go ahead and start. I have my first call, so I hit transfer. I'm going to dial an extension of somebody I know isn't going to answer. So I hit send after typing in their extension and I wait for them to answer the phone. I'm going to get Kyle's voicemail here. So I'm going to hit the more, which is the two dots, and hit end call. There's my original call on hold. I can hit resume and continue my conversation with them or offer to transfer their call to voicemail. Now what we'll do is pretend that Kyle answered and transfer the call to him. So we'll hit transfer, dial Kyle's extension, and hit send. Oh, hey, Kyle, it's Dan. I have so-and-so on the phone. That's great. So I'm going to hit transfer and complete that call. Now we'll go ahead and do the same transfer, but this time when we get Kyle's voicemail box, we'll pull the call back and do a voicemail transfer. Here we go. Transfer. By the way, at any time during this, you can hit cancel and return back to your previous activity. I got Kyle's voicemail, so I'll hit, hit the more key, end the call, resume this call, let them know Kyle wasn't available, and ask if they'd like his voicemail. So once again, I'll hit the more key, hit transfer to voicemail, dial Kyle's extension, and then I'm going to hit OK by going to more and hitting OK, or I can just hit OK down here. 
that call transferred directly to Kyle's voicemail. There is one other way to transfer a call, and that's parking a call. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. While active on a call, I can use one of the designated park buttons here on the phone. Just press the button, and you can see that the call is parked and that button is now turned red. Everyone who has that park button throughout the organization can now walk to a phone and press park and retrieve it. You would use this if you needed to try to find somebody throughout the office, or if you wanted to simulate lines where you could call to another office and say, park one's for you, and they would come to their phone, hit park one, and they would pull the call over to themselves. You can see the caller ID is now there. We can set up multiple park zones for you, so just let your project manager know. Now we'll take a look at doing a conference call. Across the bottom of the screen, you can see I have transfer, hold, and conference. If I hit more, I have transferred a voicemail and end call. So I'm going to press conference. I'm now going to conference in another number. This can be internal or external. And hit send. Once that user answers, I can hit conference again. And now both parties are conferenced. If I hit manage, I can see both folks who are on the call and I can mute folks, remove folks, or put them on hold. The system allows you to conference you and two other people. For larger conferences, please ask your project manager about our conference bridge feature. Let's go ahead and manage the call though. So if I wanted to mute one of these folks, I could use my arrow keys to highlight them and mute and mute or remove one of the parties. To end the conference, hit end call. You'll notice you have a do not disturb soft key on your phone. To enable do not disturb on your phone, hit do not disturb and you've now enabled that. Please note that this only enables do not disturb on this handset. That way if you're using the Vodacall Go Mobile or the Vodacall Go Web, you still have access to those. To turn it off, press the button again. Here you have your menu key. This allows you to get to your status, features, directory, your call history, as well as some other features and functionality. You can also change your ring type under basic. To navigate these keys, come on up and move around. Let's go to basic. Language, date, time, display, sound. Some people like to change the ringtones. Choose which one you'd like and hit save. Hit exit to leave the menu. Now let's take a look at a few more things. To access your call history, you can hit your up arrow key and then toggle through all calls, missed calls, placed calls, received calls, and forwarded calls, which we have none of. Over on the right, you have your headset button, which will activate your headset if you have one plugged in. You have your mute button, which will mute if you're on speakerphone, if you're on your handset, or if you're on your headset. Once again, your voicemail button, which we used when we started this video, your hold button, your transfer button, and your speakerphone button. Last but not least, you have your redial button, which is another way to access history. Press here, it gets to your history. Press it again, it'll call the last person you called. Thank you for calling Vodacall. So simply to redial someone, just double tap this button. Thank you for calling Vodacall. Then you have your volume keys. This will adjust your ring volume when the screen is idle. It will adjust your handset volume when you're on your handset and your speakerphone volume when you're on your speakerphone. These settings will all be remembered as well. Your down arrow key accesses your directory. Hit the X to get out. Your left and right keys are currently not programmed. However, they can be for one touch features. Now let's take a look at the screen. At the top, you'll see that this is 606C. Right below it, you'll see 606C again. Don't worry, that's not a mistake. The top is a title bar, and below it is your actual line appearance. Below that, you have park, along with another three buttons. On the other side, you have five buttons. In this case, the bottom one has a one and a two. That signifies that there's another page of buttons. You can have up to three programmed on this phone. 
I also have Matt Harvey here programmed as a speed dial or a BLF called a busy lamp field. You can watch a video on how to program your phone's buttons under the training videos. If I press this, it will call Matt. Hit this button again, it will return us back to our screen. If you're ever having a trouble with your phone and support asks you your IP information, you can always just press OK and that'll tell you what your IP address is, what the MAC address is, etc. Last but not least, let's take a look at connecting our phone to the Wi-Fi network. On the T54W, the W stands for Wi-Fi. That means the phone can be connected without a cable. Hit your menu key, navigate down to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi status is off. Hit right to turn it on. Hit OK. Or save. Scroll down to known networks or available networks. Then choose the network you'd like to join into and put in your password. To do this, you'd use your ABC functionality for capitals, for letters, numbers, whatever's in your Wi-Fi password. When you're done, hit connect. You'll also see that there's Bluetooth functionality can turn that on and hit save. And then you can pair your favorite Bluetooth device like a headset.